Yes. Hi guys, it's Amanda and it's not 10 o'clock. It's 9.15 because I forgot about daylight savings time, but I am here with Fiona from Reads. Hi. <laughs> and we are going to discuss the book Roomies by Sarah Zar and Tara Alta Brando. Okay, you can you did the review this time. I did it last time. Okay. So am I just saying what I gave it, my general review? Yep. Um I think I gave this oh crap. I think I gave it four and a half. Let's just let's just double check that. What did you give it for stars? I gave it a four. Okay, yeah, I think I I think I gave it a four and a half. Let me just double check. I find it really I'm I'm gonna this is gonna be a wee like blurby bit. I find it really in annoying in Goodreads you can't do half a star. Yeah, I know. So That's I ended up giving it, that's so why I got four. Yeah, I, I gave it, so I, I always rate it up, so I gave it five on Goodreads, but in okay. my review I write four and a half out of five. Okay. But I feel like I should rate it on the, I should round up, because that's like only fair, I feel like. <laughs> okay. Like you, if would you have given it four and a half, or would you have given it three and a half? I would have given it four and a half. See, so because I rounded up and you rounded down, we made it an <laughs> even number. See, it all works. That's, that's, that's why you're the maths person, dear. There we go. All right, so I gave it four and a half out of five stars. I think I gave it that um, I was like in a really good mood to read this. It's just such a light contemporary, and I think that that's what I needed. I wasn't really in the mood for something heavy and intense, so. It was the perfect time. It read really quick because it was told in emails as well as the traditional writing. So it felt like it was going a lot faster. Yeah. And I just thought that this was really a nice book, like about what it means to have a friendship. And this, sorry about this with the sun. <laughs> I look so angelic. <laughs> I will shut the window. You can say what you gave it. Okay, I gave it a four out of five. Um, really enjoyed it. It was a good book. I again, like Amanda, I thoroughly enjoyed the fact that it was told via emails um, and just normal narrative. I liked that there were like multiple people involved in it. It just didn't, just doesn't, didn't stick to the two main characters. You had other characters who were telling their stories as well, which I found really, really good. Um, so you didn't kind of get bogged down in just the friendship type of thing. It gave you an idea of what it is like when you have applied to university and <laughs> that was well done um, and you have been assigned a roomie that you don't know if you haven't so because I know that I think in America, some people, I think in, as well as in the UK, that you go to university, if you're going to the same university as a friend, that you can ask to be assigned a room together. Yeah. Um, so it was really interesting these two people didn't know each other. I think it was, it showed you how you can go about trying to organize things for your room, such as decor, etc., etc. I thought it was, a, it was a really good premise because as far as I'm aware, there have been no other books written like that. No. Yeah, I haven't come across any. No. But I, I felt like I could really relate because it just reminded me of when I was going to college and I actually went to college. There were a bunch of people in my high school that went to the same college, at least like three other girls, uh -huh. four other girls I can think of. Um, and we chose none of us to room together because they say if you room with a friend, you're going to hate each other, which mm -hmm. I totally believe. I've mm -hmm. tried living with my best friend. We almost killed each other and decided <laughs> we shouldn't do that anymore. So it's just, so we had random roommates and I just remember getting my roommate assignment and like getting a friend request on Facebook and it was like all Facebook messages. Mm -hmm. It didn't get to this level of mm -hmm. the book where they were getting so close, mm -hmm. but it was the same type of like hesitation, like what's their personality like? Well, how mm -hmm. will my personality fit with this personality? What are we going to mm -hmm. agree on? What are we going to disagree on? So I felt like it was very accurate. Yeah. It was, it was accurate for me as well. And I mean, it, I read it just as I was going back, you mm -hmm. know, um, I was lucky and I, I knew that I was getting a flat on my own. But I think if I hadn't been getting a flat on my own, I would have been feeling, even at my age, I'd still have been feeling all the things that these two girls were feeling right. in the book. You know, it would have been like, oh my goodness. 
So out of curiosity, are you still friends with your freshman flatmate? No. It so didn't. we um, um, we actually at my school they had a lot of freshmen and not a lot of rooms, so mm -hmm. we were in a double room, but there were three of us. Oh my! Under the under the understanding that once people dropped out mm -hmm. or moved out, because that's how many people do drop out every yeah. year in college, they would then start moving the third roommate out. So they told you from the beginning, you two are roommates and this is your third temporary roommate. Okay. And when it came time for that third roommate to move out, you could either sign a paper saying we want to stay a triple uh -huh. or you could let them move out. So our third roommate moved out and we were on really good terms, but then we just didn't have the same interests. Mm -hmm. We did different things with our free time. Yeah. And it just turned into a <clears throat> dramatic oh <laughs> And we like <laughs> next spoke again. <laughs> but that's just because I don't really get along with females, like living with them. Yeah. And being like, like I have I have female friends, but once mm -hmm. it starts to get like like too much togetherness like yeah. you live together or like you never spend time with anyone else then yeah. it then it like bombs for some reason yeah. I, like can't, i can't do that <laughs> okay. I just, i'm really bad at, at living with me <laughs> <laughs> it's probably it's obviously me because i'm the <laughs> <product> actor <laughs> i'll take responsibility it's fine <laughs> <laughs> okay so what did you make of the book are we going to go spoiler free at the moment or are we going to go spoiler? Um, we can still do like general spoiler free just for now because I'm just thinking my expectation versus what it was. So mm -hmm. I didn't have very high expectations. I was assuming that it would be kind of like a light contemporary mm -hmm. read because it's geared towards that age group of like yeah. you know, older teens who aren't necessarily always really into reading. So I knew it had to be fast paced. I did feel like it was way more of a story than I thought it was going to be. There was a mm -hmm. lot more to it. There were a lot more different dynamics and a lot of characters for yeah. such a short book. Yeah. Um, so I think that the plot exceeded my expectation and the feeling of the book while I was reading it, like the lightness, mm -hmm. and the ease and how I felt like I could totally just stop reading and go back to it, you know, two days later, but I'd be yeah. fine. That was exactly what I thought it was going to be like. Yeah. Yeah, I sort of thought the same. I found like the I, I liked all of the characters. At times, you were wishing, or I felt I was wishing, can we not find out even more about this character and less about that character? At times, I found, um, I found that slightly annoying. Yeah. And there were certain certain parts that you were like, why did that happen? Why can't we have more information about mm -hmm. such and such? You know. <clears throat> but no, generally, I it was good. What did annoy me, and what I am wondering, the ending. Yes. Have they ended it in that way so that they can do a continuation? Do you think it's going to be a standalone, or are we going to get kind of the story of the freshman year? I think it's a standalone. When did it come? I'm going to check when it came out. I just want to know how long it's been. It's been three years. It'll mm. be three years next month. It came out December yeah. 2013. I think that they left it almost like a, Did you read Eleanor and Park? Yes. I feel like they did that kind of thing. They did okay. the Rainbow Rowell ending. It's annoying yeah. as hell, but apparently it's what we're doing. Oh, God. Right. Because I'd, I'd like to know what, you know, as soon as they saw each other, what happened? You know, even you if he's been given... to be finished. <laughs> it mm -hmm. needed to not end on the half page. It needed to just be one full page and then be done. Uh, or even give us, a, like, another chapter of kind of, of what, even their first month or something. Mm -hmm. You know, that would have been, because there were just so many loose ends. Yeah. I know. Maybe Maybe we should write to the publishers and say, give us another one. We want to know mm -hmm. the rest. It's true because it wasn't just a loose end with them. It was a loose interest. It was a loose, oh my God. It was a loose end with mm -hmm. the people from their homes too. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I should be displaying this. <coughs> oh, I'll there do, you go. 
right? Look at that faraway book. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. I'll do the same. There we go. Yeah. There you go. It's official now. <laughs> this wasn't real until now. <laughs> that backwards book. <laughs> um, do you want to move into spoil? Is there anything else non-spoiler we can say? Don't think Maybe so. Maybe we can say whether we recommend it and one reason why. I say yes, I would recommend it. And I would recommend it to any, actually, it would be a good one for parents and even children, like teenagers now to get because they've got, what, six months till, to, or, well, no, six. But seven months, eight months until they will be in that situation, moving into college, university. It would actually be a good one for, for some parents to give their, their kids for Christmas. Yeah, for because it gives them an idea of what's what's going to possibly happen and how how things can work. Right. But yeah, I definitely would recommend it. Would you? Yeah, and I would say to go on what you were just saying, it's very accurate. Like everyone will find at least one thing to relate to, whether it's the emotions that the people are feeling, whether it's something that happened, because. Obviously, a lot of the things in this book are not typical of what you would have happen in your mm. life, but there are so many aspects of the situations that are real that I feel like anyone could find something to relate to in it. Exactly. So, yeah, I would recommend it just because if you're already like an adult and you already did this or you wanted to go to college but you didn't, like, mm -hmm. you can still read it and find something that will bring you back to that time. Yeah. Or like how you are, if you're going back to school as an adult, mm -hmm. you're still going to yeah. be able to relate to it. And yeah. I just think that, yeah, everyone can get something out of it. And it's such an, that like an, I keep saying easy read, but not easy, like literally, no, emotionally, mm -hmm. like to get through. Yeah. It's easy to get through. So yeah. I think that it's something anyone could mm -hmm. read. I mean, it, it does touch on various emotions. It touches on various aspects of life that everybody is going to be able to, as you say, going to be able to relate to mm -hmm. and have thoughts and feelings about. So definitely a, a good book for some for people to read. Right. All right, we can move into spoilers yeah. if you want to. Okay. So um, I wanted to know why now, guys. I can't remember which one it is. Why, why Elizabeth's father left? I'm sorry, that was just like all up in the air. He left. It That's didn't the, work. The gay dad, right? He's yeah, the gay dad. I was like, come on, you know. Ugh, that that sort of annoyed me, in that that sort of side of things was kind of brushed under the brushed under the carpet in many ways. Because it was like, yes, he left because he was gay. That was the end of story. Yeah, you know? it was, and they like <gasps> they made him. The character that they made him out to be made you doubt if that was why he left. Because at first yeah. I was like, oh, he must have left because it was like a scandal. Like he yeah. came out and the mom was mad. So he mm -hmm. got away and left them alone. Mm -hmm. But then he's like such, he's such an asshole basically. Yeah. His yeah. daughter and lies to her that you're mm -hmm. like, wait, maybe he didn't leave because he had to. Maybe he left because he wanted to. Okay. And they never actually address it. They just like, yeah. I, think she, I think that they wanted us to think like to second guess his motives for leaving yeah. because he probably said I'm leaving so you guys can, you know, stay and it's for your mom and blah, 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 blah. But really he probably just wanted to leave and the mom, the yeah. mom seems to go along with it for her daughter's sake. Yeah. Like go along with his lies just so she doesn't have to know he's lying. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, you feel sorry for Elizabeth. You really do. You know, here she's thinking that her dad's going to be this wonderful, great guy. And, he isn't. I mean, the fact that he lies to her, that he's supposed to be in Italy and he's not there. Yeah. Just come clean. If you didn't want her to be there, just turn and tell her. Yeah, I know. And that made it even worse because then she caught him and it was, and then he just didn't even care really. It was no. Just, no you got me. Not gonna this room is yeah. fine, so whatever. So yeah, that, that kind of, that annoyed me. Yeah. No, I agree. I 100% agree. And I can't remember. What was the story with the other one's dad? 
the other one's dad was having, was he not having an affair with, no, no, he wasn't having an affair, was he? He was just oh. work, he was a workaholic. Lauren's parents were mar are basically workaholics and she's, yeah, she's yeah. helping to bring up the family. Yeah. But he said, yes. but I loved the cute little emails he would send. Yeah. I thought that was just. But so I didn't sweet. like how they like touched upon it and it was like, ah, and then it happened like once. <laughs> yeah. I know. Like, it's like, it would be nice to kind of make more of that. Yeah. Because it seems like they were going to when they went into the detail about yeah. it. Like, that's so sweet and then yeah. like one time later yeah. in the book when she's depressed it's just like hey <laughs> but that's, yeah. that's never again <laughs> i did like the fact that her mom and dad realized how much they were relying on her um and they said to write okay no since you're going to college we want you to be free and we're giving you you know, basically giving you freedom before you go and she didn't like it i find that really really interesting yeah um, I kind of relate to that because my brother is on the autism spectrum. Uh huh. So when I was growing up, like things we would do would revolve around like if he would like it and things like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I remember once I was like, you know, basically sat down with my parents and was like, I feel like, you know, uh -huh. just because of this, things revolve around him. And like uh -huh. I want some time to do things I want to do too. Uh -huh. And like I think they react in the same way. Like they felt yeah. so bad about it that it was like, yeah, whatever you want to do, like we'll do it, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. And I was just like, oh, well, I don't want like, I still want him to be a part of it. I just want you to recognize it and acknowledge yeah. Mm -hmm. kind of thing. And I feel like yeah. that's how she was too. It was like, she didn't want to not spend time with her family. No. She wanted someone to be like, you're right. Mm -hmm. You should have, like, you should be able to do what you want and yeah. you don't have to do what you want, but you can yeah. decide if you want to kind of thing. She just wanted yeah. like the right to choose, I think. I think so. Yeah. And yeah. I'd be really interested to find out what happens, you know, in that situation when she actually moved, when she moved into her dorm room, how did her parents cope? How did she cope, more importantly, you know, without having to deal with her siblings? I think that would have been really, really interesting to find out. Yeah. And I feel like she was the type of person that, like, she would go home yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what was I just going to say? Oh, at the end... Do, don't they not bring don't they say they're gonna bring back her brothers and sisters but then they don't um, as far as I'm aware it's just the two girls at the very end of it it's well, um, I thought that the parents were like we're gonna bring the rest to say goodbye blah 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 and then I saw it, it like the next page was like I didn't have them bring them back I knew it would be too emotional or something like that um, doesn't no, because it just looks like they've, she's just got a picture in her room. Yeah, it just looks like um, that she's got a pic few pictures in her room, and they haven't um, they haven't brought the brought the kids back. So um, yeah, so that's what they did. So that seems strange if they were going to do that, because I thought they were, unless they were going to do it later on once the girls had met. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. It was a little weird. Mm. What did you think of the, the two boys? The love interests? Yeah. I'm like trying to remember everything about them because I feel like I have forgotten some things. Mm -hmm. I, I liked them a lot. Mm -hmm. Was did I'm like really having trouble remembering. Was it Kenyon was no, he was colored, wasn't yes. he? Yes. But did either did none of they didn't do anything wrong, right? They were like genuinely no. nice guys. They were genuinely nice guys, yeah. yeah. It was the girls that made things complicated. It was the girls that made things complicated. It was now it was Lauren who found out that Elizabeth's dad wasn't in Italy. She let Elizabeth know and things blew up at that point. Because Lauren Elizabeth went off her nut at that one, going, "How could you do this to me, etc." Yeah, Lauren was like only trying to be helpful. So, I liked. Which boy did you like better? I actually liked Kenyon better. I thought he was 
not the other one, can't even remember the other one's name, that's how good it is. Um, I thought he was I thought he was nice. I also like the fact that his parents were so nice towards Elizabeth as well. You know, I thought that was a really nice sort of connection type thing. Yeah, I feel like everyone's <clears throat> name. Heck. This is bad. We're doing a live show and we can't even remember the ruddy characters. That's a problem, right? Hmm. Mar a minute. Okay, Mark. right, okay. Mark? Uh huh. Now he now he is Yeah, Mark. Is Mark he, is the one whose dad is cheating with her mom. So he's Elizabeth's boyfriend. So Kenyon is Lauren's boyfriend. Yes. Yeah. So Yes. Because yeah. remember Lauren's parents when they meet him and he's like he's he's black, so they're like right. acting all different. Yeah. Exactly. I'm trying not to be different. Yeah. So I actually I liked him. I liked Mark as well. I thought he was very good. The fact that he stood up to his dad and said, "Right, you've got to stop this um, affair you're having with Elizabeth's mom." I thought yeah. that was really well done. Um, not many people his age would have the guts to do that. But I was thinking that it wouldn't work because I was like, "His dad's such a jerk. He probably won't mm -hmm. even care, and he'll be like, screw mm -hmm. you.'" Mm -hmm. so I don't find it that believable that he immediately just stopped. I'm gonna stay laying down now. <laughs> Turn it, that's it. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Um, I don't know that he would have just done it immediately. I think he would have spent time to think about it. Um, exactly. You know. Um, but I, I have to say, I like Kenyon's Kenyon. I liked his dad and his mum. The fact that they were like so welcoming to Lauren, uh, yeah. So that was that was good. Yeah, I liked. I think I liked Kian more because he was just like kind and like. Um, what am I trying to say? I'm having like a really hard time with language today. Um, That's because you've had an hours late. Transparent. Yeah just open and honest and like mm -hmm. he didn't care if what he said was something he should be like nervous yeah. to say yeah and i felt like mark was also like that but mm -hmm. more reserved like mm -hmm. he, mark gave off like the typical cool bad boy vibe at the beginning like when he yeah. had like, cool friends and the girl mm -hmm. with the attitude it was like mm -hmm. oh he's the typical like friends are a problem and judgmental and yeah you're a bad boy and you don't care what your parents think of you because you hate yeah. them. And whereas mm -hmm. Keenan was more of like a different. Yeah, he was more family orientated. Yeah. In many ways. But I liked, but they were both good people. They were. I just liked the way that Keenan like approached situations and acted yeah. more yeah. in a romantic yeah. way. Yeah. Do yeah. we think that the the romances will, will would continue while they're at college or do you think that's going to end up being a big bust. I don't know, but again, I would have way more faith in Kian. Yeah. Because I feel like he's, again, just like for some reason, like he has good role models. His parents yeah. are good role models, and he he seems like to have that be very important to him that relationships yeah. are strong and continue. Whereas yeah. Mark is kind of jaded. They're both jaded, they both mm -hmm. have parent mm -hmm. problems. Yeah. And I feel like they would struggle they could they could definitely stay together but it would yeah. be hard because they both have problems because of yeah. their parents mm -hmm. yeah okay what do you think i think i think both couples will probably struggle because i think both couples are going to have long distance relationships and how committed they're going to be to those once they get into the whole way of university college I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I would, in my heart of hearts, you hope that they both they both succeed. Yeah. You know, um, and that it's it becomes a more stable environment for all of them. Yeah, it would be cool if there was a book, like you were saying, a second one mm -hmm. on their freshman yeah. year. But like it was like all four yeah. perspectives. 
Yeah, exactly. That would be good. Like what it was like away from yeah. the girls, what it was like yeah. away from the boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, you keep talking. I need to put my, my I need to power my put my computer on to charge. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but I think that in terms of like story, oh, I'm gonna fall over in a minute. Right, okay, carry on. <laughs> in terms of storylines we want continued or completed. Mm -hmm. I definitely think the romances would be a, something I would pick up, even if it was like novellas. I would, yeah. up, I would pick up like a novella that was set going into their second year that mm -hmm. just quickly recapped the romance of the first year and whether it worked out or not. Like mm -hmm. I would totally read a novella. Yeah, I'd also like to sort of see what happened between Elizabeth and her dad, I want to know, It was that relationship repairable? Hmm. Did he become, shall we almost say, the white, the shining knight that she wanted him to be? I don't think he could be. I don't think he cares. <laughs> no, I don't think he cares either. I really don't think he cares at all. Like, I yeah. think he's like, oh, snap, you caught me, darn. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, bye. <laughs> like, it wasn't, I'm so no. sorry I lied to you. Yeah. No. So, yeah. And I'd also like to see how um, Lauren's siblings deal with her not being there. Yeah. I mean, I don't want a big, I wouldn't want a book about them. Um, but it'd be nice, as you say, in a novella to sort of find out what the siblings, as they got used to her not being there, what did they think? How did they feel? Even if the novella was like pure <clears throat> email format. Yeah. So like it was an email from her dad. Mm -hmm. of her of the home life. We could write this. We could write this <laughs> right now. <laughs> I think we're both getting off our plates at the moment. <laughs> We can put that for when when we retire. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> but I think this is totally achievable. There's two of them. They could mm. totally get a novella out. Yeah, exactly. I think we need to. I think we need to email the publishers and say, "Come on, yeah. we have this the idea. We're going to pitch it to you, and then you do the writing." Okay. Yeah, you you get you get the authors to do the writing because they know the characters better than we do. Yeah. <laughs> so. Anything else you want to say? Um, I don't think so. I think we've talked about a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Cool. So do we tell them what we're doing next? Oh, yeah. Um, we're doing The Raven Boys by Maggie's daughter. And as of right now, oh, yeah, Fiona's holding it up. <laughs> and as of right now, we are doing our live show on December 4th. But the time is to be determined. Yeah. Exactly. So, As of right now, December. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out near the time. Yeah. Like, like the day before. <laughs> yeah, as usual. Yeah, definitely. Cool. All right. Okay. So cool. if you have watched this, thank you for watching. If you've read Roomies, you should tell us what you thought of it in the comments. Yeah, please do so. Yeah, and if we got you to want to pick it up, you should also tell us that in the comments. Absolutely, yeah. Please let us know what you've, what you've thought about it. And um, are there any questions from our show that you want to know the answers to? That have, is there something that maybe we need to clarify for you? Again, leave your comments down below, and we will we will answer them. Yep. So thank you guys for watching, and we will Thanks, see you guys. with our next live show on December fourth. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.